We're riding in Vermont today and Tom's oh, track that wants to take me out and break my foot again. But Tom has been hard at work, spending countless hours working on this course, a hard enduro course. He has actually pushed everybody out of his life and has been in the woods for so long now, he's got a beard. Like, I'm not kidding, it's like a six inch beard. Hasn't shaved, I don't even think he's put deodorant on since he started. And I thought when we went up there, I was like, Tom, is everything all right? Are you homeless or like, so he's actually been living in the woods and he's become a true Vermonter and he eats bark and moss to get by. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend with the six inch beard. Eating dirt! He just put. Are you, are you all right? He's hungry for some moss. Oh, oh, there's a root right The beard saved his face. Right I may have gotten that on camera. What? All right, but seriously, Tom hasn't been living in the woods that long, so the course is a rough draft. He's got something laid out, he's done some serious work out here, but it's not all there yet. But there's enough. There's enough to do a test ride. So we're, 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 we're running a rough draft. <laughs> What's wrong with me today? We're doing a rough draft ride through on the course. And we will critique it. And that's something I should mention. I, I have made an observation. After doing hard enduros for a year or two now, I've observed that hard enduro riders are incredibly high maintenance. We're like prima donnas. Gee, the trail isn't hard enough, we're crying. We're complaining. But if it's bottlenecked, we're complaining. So it's a fallacy. You you want such hard trail, but you don't want bottlenecks. It's really hard to pull off. Not impossible. It can be done, but it's a hard thing to do. So I you know I give the respect to the promoters that are hanging it out there and, and trying to put it together. And they are. I mean, they're really improving and getting there. Anyway, we are off track. I don't know why I'm talking about this. We're riding Tom's course. What in the heck is this gate? That's a that's a hard girl feature right there. Jeez, good thing I wasn't going too fast. You know, sometimes I really regret my decisions. <laughs> this is one of those decisions. Oh, what happened to Tom? No assistance allowed. Adam, don't even think about it. So we got a crew today. We've got Tom, Adam, myself. All right, Adam. There's Gary from Barnstormers Off Road. Tommy, who we've seen in some other Vermont videos, and Cody Buck, who we've never ridden with before. That didn't work. Hold on, I think I got it. Oh, close, but no cigar. So we're at our first feature here that is giving us trouble. Yeah, this is rare. This is rare, right? Yeah, Gary gets up there. <laughs> oh! Should I say squid? Dude, you were going for it. You alright? Alright, second attempt. That almost looked like I knew what I was doing. It actually didn't take any effort. It just kind of went on its own. Oh! Uh, I thought we said assistance wasn't allowed. I didn't help. I didn't help, for the record. <laughs> Ooh, Tommy almost had it. Very close. Nice. nice. Thank you. Oh, man, this is making me realize I need to get my trials bike ASAP. I sold mine, hoping to find a newer one, you know, an upgrade. And I have yet to find one. But this type, this type of stuff, these big walls, these rocks, all this stuff, is prime terrain that if I practice on a trials bike, it would translate directly over to the dirt bike. Oh my gosh, what are those logs? This is paved out here. So the highway department came through and smoothed everything out. Ooh, we got a squeeze here, a squeeze up next to this rock. Oh yeah, set it up, set it up, now pop out of this. Oh yeah, that's what's up. 
See, I think, like, if Tom were to have a hard, I'm thinking if this was a hard note, like, you'd have to make it go up to the right, like, way up to the right, no, big rocks, big rocks. This would get so burned in so quick, so it, it, would, it would be easy after, like, 20 riders went through here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, although I'm having trouble. I think I, that was done on purpose. I just am too short. See, this is where the stilts... I'm, I've been considering I'm looking into this new technology I'm developing. Stilts for dirt biking. That way, when I'm tipping to the low side, I can put my foot down with the big stilts. What do you think? What do you think of this idea? Yay or nay? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> little section. Oh yeah, look at Tom up there. Okay, Adam didn't even have to do it. Adam just like rode over it like it was like nothing. Yeah. Dude, look at that little pivot turn. So I've been working on the pivot turns. That is a big, big advantage to be able to do pivot turns. I was thinking about this the other day. And it can save so much time in setup to go over a feature. Instead of trying to turn the bike around or kick the rear end out, you literally just pop the front wheel up, turn however much you need to, maybe even 180 degrees around, and you're heading that direction. And it's it's critical. It's like I've completely changed my tune on it. I used to think, oh, it's just to look cool and be stylish. But no, it is an essential thing to be able to do to shave time off in a hard girl. This way! Whoa! Whoa! You want to race there, big dog? So this is definitely part of the trail that Tom did not get a chance to open up as much, but there's the blue ribbon. That's all we're following. It's like Romaniacs. Oh. Speaking of Romaniacs, I want to head to Europe for some of these West races. Over the next couple of years, that's, that's a goal here. Although, we have some work to do. We have some serious work to do to get there. And I have to figure a lot of things out, and there, that's that's tough. That's gonna be that's gonna be a tough one to figure out. But gotta start thinking about it. Oh yeah. I, so I, Tom, I'm just thinking here with your course layout. Can we have like hills where it's like third gear? Well, there's not. It's too rocky to have any long hold it wide open and send it sections. Whoa there, big dog. Man down. Oh, I just passed Adam. I passed you. Oh yeah, oh, I just pigeonholed myself. And Adam, Adam gets me back. You got me back, you got me back. You got me back. You all right? <laughs> I saw you one second, then you weren't there. That was a disappearing act by Cody there. Oh, yeah. Who says, oh, yeah, before a treacherous rock garden? We do. Oh, yeah, that looks like some great trail. It's a boulder field. <laughs> Something's wrong with us. log here. It's giving me some trouble. It's giving me some trouble. Blaming this one on Tom's trail clearing. I'm stuck on that log. It just won't go away. I'm still on it. And there it throws me. Yikes. Spits me out. And puts me to the ground and Cody gets around me. And it actually helped me out. So it pushed in my bar end so that my throttle would stick. Now my hand doesn't get tired trying to twist the throttle wide open all the time. It's a new invention. This is how inventions happen. It's accidents that start inventions. Woo! 
That's a hole. <laughs> this section's a little hairy. I like it. Tom, we like it. We like it a lot. But these bottlenecks, oh, I mean, come on. What's up with these bottlenecks? What kind of course is laid out like this and there aren't passing lanes? This is a hard enduro, not a parking lot. I don't know what I'm saying over here. I'm spewing stuff. Oh, look at this. A downhill log crossing, elevated. Yep. We keep on scrolling. And I'm looking up to the left, and I'm seeing pure excellence for hard enduro terrain. And that's room for expansion. We're on the rough draft, remember. I got to slow down here. It's rough draft. So we're at this bowl. And this whole area is fair game. It's this big bowl, hill climb. And Tom's got this vision for like this epic hard enduro carnage, bikes flipping and exploding, helicopters flying over, bullets hitting the ground, aircraft carriers with submarines and screaming eagles. But we all got up this hill, it wasn't too bad, but imagine 500 bikes coming at it at once. Now that's what we're talking about, that's the hard enduro event that we're planning out, uh, apparently. Oh! That thing, like, that wants to tip you over. We got a rock that wants to tip you over. So Tom wiped out on it. Cody wiped out on it. I saw it and did my best to not get caught by it because I knew about it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. He scared me! It's meant to tip you over. Oh! Oh! It got Gary as well! That's a hazard. No paving though, there is no paving allowed, Tom. Man, I'm in a dilemma right now. I'm using Instacart to it's you get your groceries delivered. You don't have to go grocery shopping to save time because I just don't have time. I'm working on all these dirt bikes and riding, and my time is better spent doing better things. So I pay to get my groceries delivered. Uh -huh. Oh, I got 13 pounds of beets by mistake. <laughs> by mistake, 13 pounds. Do you know how much? Do you know how much it is? Whoa, that's stuck. Cody's bikes get swallowed up by the earth. Where are we right now? I have no idea where we're at. I don't know. So my dilemma is, is what do I do? What do I make with beets? 13 pounds of beets. I don't even know if I like beets. That's, this is a problem. This has become a big problem. Oh! Somebody is down up there. Adam's down on the ground. This section was nasty. There's some big rocks, big holes that are swallowing up dirt bikes for breakfast. There's a lot of pushing. There's a lot of lifting. A lot of heavy breathing. And I know you love it. There's a lot more to go, but I'm going to pull the plug right now because it's all I could get out. It's like you squeeze a small one out. You know, you're not fully satisfied because you couldn't get the big log out. You got a little bit out. You could go on with the rest of your day, but it's like you're not quite there, but you're all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what am I saying? What am I saying? Okay, we'll see you on the next episode. If, I don't know if I'll get to the second part. I, it's tough, like, Roar is coming up. So uh, there's some prep going on. I got to get myself wrapped in gear here. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed. Hit that gosh darn subscribe button. Hit the like button. And have a great day.